we are tracking an increasingly dangerous situation down in Florida, preparing for a major hurricane. gonna regap these I don't even think these are the right gap so I'm gonna gap these to 0 0.028 inches this is the fancy gap tool and these are the feeler gauges Okay, so those sparks are gapped. I'm gonna put them back in the SR. We can put our pizza and ignition coils back in. taking a quick break this area is flooded with cops there's cops everywhere so it's kind of hard to really do anything right now look how nice this view is I'm kind of in the middle of the road right now this view is so nice it's just like and the crazy part is yeah a cop just drove by
right now. The tires are done like I mentioned last video, so I maybe have one run. So this one trailer right here is like directly covering the line I would take going around second gear for the sweeper. I would have to come around that and kind of extend out and then continue this way. Two truckers back there. I'm a considerate person, so I'm not gonna go and run right now. We're gonna give it like 10 minutes. This is just to kill the tires. We'll be going to Kenda Care 20s um, or maybe something different, but I'm thinking Kenda's. Space Center tonight, and James, it is going to be an early one with a 350 launch time. That's launch pad 39A. Lift off. Go Falcon. Go Dragon. Go Cruise. Confirmation: We have moved through Max Q and are throttling back up. Copy one Bravo. Heard that call from Jasmine on Crew Seven, as well as confirmation from the ground. The call out for one Bravo. <laughs> overview before I go to bed. Everything is fresh in my head now, so I just want to talk about it. First off, like I mentioned a million times, these tires are done. <laughs> 45. The fact that I even held sweeper with that setup is insane. Remember guys, this car is completely stock. It's stock angle on the front, so I don't have a lot of room to work with. Remember, we're going from 7 PSI to 10 PSI, and I honestly think the Kendas will do good, but I'm gonna do more tire research. So if you guys have any tire recommendations, let me know. Obviously on the street, I might stick with a cheap junkyard China tire, and then when we do track days, I'll go to the actual like track tire, which will be a Kenda or whatever I end up getting. All right, so I checked three things off of my goal list for learning how to drift. 
The first one was a faint entry. We did our first slight faint entry tonight. It was very sloppy, but I tried it and I think I just need to be a little more aggressive with the turning on the wheel. I noticed that when I pull the handbrake or when I go for a faint, I don't turn as much. And I think that's a result of driving a lot of sim and the car is just reacting so well on sim. But in real life, you have to kind of over exaggerate your movements. The second thing we did was initiating a drift in second gear. So usually I start in first, upshift to second while still drifting and then keep going. But this time tonight, I started in first, went to second, and then entered and initiated the drift in second gear. And the third thing was also our very first clutch kick entry, which went pretty well because I had dead tires. Uh, I might have to really be a lot more aggressive when I up the tires. I'm going to get some rest. The car is dirty. I just want to clean a couple things. This needs to be cleaned. It's like four in the morning. I'm going to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So the car never sees a water hose because there's too many crevices and spots that can get into the car and start rust and all that annoying stuff. One, two, three. The overs are installed so ghetto, I'll link the video. That's not sealed at all. And in the front, I don't know how well this drains water when it comes down this way and then goes into the cowl. It's four, terrible paint job. So what I do is basically wipe the car down. Pretty extensive, it doesn't get it super clean, but it works. And from a distance, it doesn't look too bad. And then up close, I can see out the front and back windows. After pulling that move with the water hose, I'm kind of not scared of the rain with this car anymore. The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. Look at the car. Mother Nature basically helped me with a rinse. I basically have to wipe the car down or it's gonna be left with a bunch of spots. Because I know better, it gave me shit now. Rose, I told me, young nigga, make sure you get your paper ball. If we ain't beefing about no thriller, then I see you later. Oh!